Morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Russell Rankin, and be talking to you briefly about BSI steel. Of course, steel is critical in the application of everyday life, actually, from your motor car, washing machine, the fence around your property. And uh, steel has developed and come a long way uh, in the last century. If you think the First World War, the Great War, 100 years ago, steel was used in some new applications then, things that had never been used, like the, the tank or the submarine. And of course, those weren't good applications of steel necessarily. But in the last 100 years, steel has developed in, in, in grades and technologies. And of course, for, for our purposes here this morning, we're talking to you a little bit about the mining industry and what BSI steel can offer to the mining sector. To give you a bit of background on steel, um, on BSI, uh, a brief history is BSI was uh, listed on is listed now on the on the on the JSE on the Alternate Exchange, and it uh, was started in 1985 in Peter Maritzburg as a discount steel, and uh, it's grown dramatically. Originally selling just to the, the farming community in in KwaZulu Natal, and then it's uh, it's grown to the point where now of course we have branches throughout South Africa, head offices in in Johannesburg and uh, a lot of different branches in South Africa and, of course, in Africa. Uh, in Africa, uh, BSI probably, as a, as, a, as a South African company, has the greatest exposure through our branches in uh, Zimbabwe. We have branches in Harare, Bulawayo, in Accra in Ghana, Tet and Maputo in Mozambique, Kitwe and Lusaka in Zambia, and in the DRC, Kolwezi and Lubumbashi. And, and this branch network we use, obviously, to service very much the mining industry in those areas. Uh, in South Africa, these are, this is a list of uh, some of our distribution branches here. We have Cliprefere near, near Johannesburg is where we have our main processing and distribution center, carry the majority of our stocks. And um, KZN, is, we have the branch in Maritzburg, bulk sales in Maritzburg. We have a number of express stores in uh, in, in and around Gauteng, and uh, we also have Plate Solutions, which is geared very much towards the mining industry, which deals with uh, value adding and cutting processing of steel, and also a roofing division. Some of the stocks we carry for, well, it's very varied, but it's mild steel, structural sections, tubing, coil, sheets, plates, etc. the whole range, in, in fact, and um, it's a very diverse range in steel. And then on the value addings, that we, we do decoiling, blanking, slitting, cut to length, processing, plate profiling, laser cutting, guillotining, bending, and rolling. And obviously for mining applications, it's, it's, we find very effective to, to use a drawing and to do some of the processing so that you're not shipping the scrap, you're not shipping material that will not be used on, on site. There are critical materials which are essential for a successful mining project. In Africa, the supply of such materials is often wrought with problems. We find that often companies have very effective uh, procurement um, people, but they are dealing in areas where it, logistics are a problem, you have problems uh, with steel at the border, crossing borders into different countries, delays in logistics and transport. And this is where BSI has had many years of experience, nearly 30 years of experience in dealing into Africa. So we find that uh, it, it's actually a very effective part of our service is to add, don't, not just sell the steel, but in, in getting the materials to the site. So the transport and logistics with the correct quality and also the technical backup. Um, very often we find, of course, that people will order something and then when it comes to site, it might not be the right material. Uh, and we have technical backup. Uh, I'm not a metallurgist, but we do have the services of some people who will be able to go to site and actually help people even before they order the steel to be able to make sure the quality is suitable. And, uh, of course, one of the critical materials is steel. This is an essential and a vital product in all mining, whether it's um, open pit or underground. 
So it's important to establish a reliable supply of the essential mining materials. The quality and availability and local knowledge is, is, essential, is critical. We know that many of the countries in Africa do not have developed infrastructure or you cannot get the full range of what you need, especially if it is uh, specialized products, specialized steel products. And then you need a supply partner who's experienced in the local conditions and, and in the specialized mining requirements. And the technical competence and expertise, expertise in, in mining, of course, is, is very, very valuable. And this is a service that we like to offer to, to our customers. So if you look at the value of uh, savings, this total cost of uh, ownership triangle shows quite interestingly where savings can be made. Uh, you can maybe save 5% on the commercial or primary part, which is the pricing. You, know, you, you can achieve savings on the price of the material, but that is not where your biggest savings necessarily come from. Uh, you find that the capabilities can save you a lot more of this supplier. If someone who's not familiar with the conditions in a certain country where you're operating is offering you steel and they're uh, far away and they're not they're not familiar with the logistical problems or the documentational problems, the administration problems of getting the material to site, that can cost you quite a lot. So you can save quite a bit by having a choice, choosing a reliable and a supplier who has experience in that. And then lastly, your technical innovations is a very big saving. You, you might have a situation where on a project, um, material is over-specified, for instance. Uh, the person who's designed it might have designed it for an application with a bit of overkill, if you like. And where we can offer some technical expertise is to go to the, to the people and say, well, maybe you can use this or offer alternatives that are just as effective. And they, of course, are, are, are big savings. So BSI is specialized in steel supply to African mining projects. We have a long history. Uh, our branches, such as in the DRC, have been active for for many, many years. And, and so we, we have the track history, we have the track record of being reliable suppliers to the, to the African mining project. And this goes for Zimbabwe and Zambia as well and, and Mozambique more recently. And as well, of course, as Ghana in West Africa. Then we have the, as the branches, which are, are carrying a range of stock not the complete range necessarily, where these applications are more specialized and you need more value added, then that would be done from uh, our head office in, in, in Johannesburg. And then, of course, supply of steel to mining projects is really under, is, is regularly undertaken into remote areas of Africa. So we have specialists who advise on, on certain grades of steel and um, are competent in, in offering advice. BSI is mining orientated. It's a big part of our business, and we specialize as in products that are specifically used only in mining. So BSI is in Africa. We are an African company. We, we're used to the conditions. We understand the different markets and all the different constraints and limitations of the different countries that we operate in. We source primarily from African manufacturers. Of course, there are producer mills in South Africa that we, we uh, support in a large way, but we are not limited uh, to supply from South Africa. We obviously uh, source globally, uh, internationally from, from Asia, from Europe, from the Ukraine, from Turkey, and so on. So sometimes we realize that to, to send steel, for instance, to Ghana from South Africa can be very expensive, and the cheaper option might be to ship it from from a different, another country where freight costs are, are less. And so we, we, we use that option. We, we are very flexible in where we need to source the materials from. And then, of course, we are very concerned about using reliable partners on the, on the supply side. So we have a, a, a large number of manufacturers who we partner into supplying steel into Africa. Yeah, and we're very familiar, of course, with mining requirements and people who are always uh, maybe behind on a project or delays. So we understand the sense of urgency, and it's, it's very important for us to be able to offer and, and complete, uh, give good lead times, and, and to deal with 
the logistical problem so we give a complete solution. So some of the mining steels, I won't go into too much detail because a lot of it is quite technical and there's a couple of slides which just show some of the products that we do supply. But mining steel, structural plate sections, tubing, piping, uh, wear resistant, corrosion resistance, other special purpose steels, high strength steels for mining equipment maintenance, these are all products that we, we do specialize in. Reinforcing expanded metal. Roof support systems is, is quite a big part of what we do. And at our stand, 1816, we have a roof support specialist as well as a specialist who deals in, in hard wearing, quenched and tempered steels, hard wearing and abrasive resistant steels. You're welcome to come and discuss any needs you have with us. Um, these are some of the products that we do use uh, or have supplied. And as I say, I'm not going to go into too many too much detail, a lot of this is very technical, but it's just to give you an overview of the very wide range of products that we, we do supply to the mining industry. 3CR12, um, many are quite familiar with it, it has some common uses uh, and, and it's uh, not as expensive as some of the other uh, equivalent steels, uh, but it is a product that we like to use as a, as a um, to replace coated steels where it has got resistance to corrosion. Walkways, uh, gratings, all of these type of handrails, those are all products that we do. So feel free to come and ask us if you need any more information at Stand 1816. Thank you very much.